channel and this lab is really challenging so i request you to please watch the video carefully and listen the things which i am going to share with you okay so first of all just log in with your credentials and search for the api and services open this thing in new tab now click on the libra library and uh, search for the data flow api like this click on this now click on manage and uh, click on disable disable this thing now once is disable now enable the thing we have to do this thing uh, otherwise we won't get a score on the task number 1 okay they have not showing the steps that we have to do over here but yeah so once you done with this thing you can just simply search for the big table and open the big table over there and copy this instance id click on this create instance replace the name over here and now click on continue for choose the ssd now here now please pay attention okay cluster id same is given also now for the region uh, us east one so just search for us and this is us east one and zone must be d okay so zone is d now choose the auto scaling and make this maximum node to 3 to 5 like this and no need to make any other changes simply click on create so so we have done with the task number 1 now it's take a few seconds to create the instance so just wait for that and now it's done click on the check my progress for task number 1 and you will get a score now the task number two is quite complicated so i request you to please pay attention okay so first of all just copy this uh, table name then click on this instance id then go to tables click on create table and paste the instance id uh, table name over there okay now copy this engagements carefully now click on this add column family and paste over there and make sure you choose the never collect garbage click on done so you have done with that now click on again add column copy this sales and paste over here like this click on done again and click on create so you have done with this task this this one task okay now we have to create one data flow job so just search for the great search for the data flow open this thing in new tab okay click on create data flow job and now for the name copy this import sessions carefully do not uh, include an extra space over there and make sure you do not include that comma also now paste the name over here for the reason must be us east one okay and for your data flow template please type sequence if you just type seq you will get the second option called sequence file files on the cloud storage to cloud big table Cho choose the second option now just wait for a few seconds and you will get the, this kind of output now copy your project id paste over here for the instance id go here and then go to all instance come over there and this is your instance id okay copy this thing come over there and paste here now for the table id go to tables click on this table id and copy this table id 
like this and paste over here now for the source pattern source path pattern copy this thing paste over here okay I am just trying to make it as slow as possible so that you can understand the each step and not make any mistakes over there. Okay, now click on the create bucket because these steps are very important. Now copy your project ID, paste over there, continue, 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 uncheck this enforce public access and choose fine grains, continue and simply click on create. Now click on select and here give forward slash and temp temp like this now simply click on run if you make all the changes correctly you won't face any uh, fail or any error or in this uh, data flow job so we have done with these steps now it will take few minutes like around two to three minutes to success the job so now we can move it the next thing so just click click on this instance now copy this uh, uh, second table we have to create over there so just copy this table name then go to tables click on create table paste the name over here now click on add column family and for that call this recommendations and paste over there and click on done click on create so now everything is fine now now there is a, some tricky part so please watch the video carefully now first of all just copy this recommendations okay go to your jobs and now click on this clone and now the name is called import sessions so just select this sessions and change it into import recommendations like this okay now copy this pro, uh, table name copy this thing now make sure you change over there like the table id if you if you don't make any changes over here you will get error so yeah so first change we have to change the name now we have changed the table id and the last thing we have to change is this source path pattern so from here copy this thing carefully do not copy any extra space okay like this and now make the changes over there like this so okay so we have again i'm saying we have made three changes the job name table id and source pattern okay now scroll down a little bit and simply click on run job now you will get like a view details just simply click on that so the second job has been start running so if you just come over here and see like it's take around two minutes and still running so yeah do not worry about that it take around two to three minutes to complete that job so we have done with this steps also now we have to just add one cluster so just if you want you can copy this thing and come over here and click on add instance and click on this add cluster and already the cluster id is created for us and this and this thing is same so no need to make any changes now the region must be us west one okay so search for us west one like this and this must be C and again auto scaling click on that the change this 3 to 5 like this and simply click on add and click on save I try to do the all the things very slow pace so that you can understand and don't make any changes because these steps are quite uh, complicated and difficult to understand so just wait for a few seconds and you will get a score on the task number 3 So cluster ID is created. If you just click on the check my progress for task number three, you will get a score. So it's done. Now for the task number four, we have to create one backup. So first of all, just copy this uh, backup ID, then go to table section. Oh, so it's still waiting for copy. So if you just click on this three dot of just personalized product, click on this three dots. Oh, so it's still waiting for copy so we have to wait for that let me just refresh okay let me just refresh the, all the thing so that I can get 
okay so i have to wait until it's in the ready state okay until and unless we have to wait because this thing are still in running state so yeah so here you can see uh, one job is completed the import session job is come succeed now the input recommendation is still in running state so yeah we have to still wait for that strange like uh, it's taking time to give me that uh, still copying the thing because it do not take that much time okay so now uh, you can see like uh, this personalized product is in blue okay so if i just click on this three dots you can see like i have the option for create a backup so click on that now copy this backup id and uh, from this cluster id choose this one and paste the backup id over there and from here choose week one and click on simply click on create then click on this restore option and now copy this thing and paste over there and simply click on restore so we are done with the task number four also now if you just come over the import recommendations and here you can see like this thing is also completed so we have done with all the steps okay so if i just click on the check my progress for the task number four and if i just check the score for task number 2 okay and if i get a score for this thing also okay so now you can see i got a score for every every task and you can also see like uh, i just uh, i took uh, my labs took too much time to give me the option to create a bucket uh, sorry cre create a backup but for you it might it might not take that much time so until and unless you will get a 70 out of 80 do not uh, delete all the data if you just uh, create the backup and click on this delete and you are the import recommendation is still in running state you won't get a full score okay until and unless you will get a 80 out of 70 that's mean you get a full score on the task number 1 task number 2 task number 3 and task number 4 after that you just move ahead the task number 5 okay uh, so just what we have to do come over there go to backups and click on this three dots click on delete copy this thing paste over there and click on delete so we have delete this backup now just go to tables and now click on the delete instance then copy this thing also like this and paste over there so now it will take few minutes to update the score in the task number 5 again i am saying guys if you have if you still not got a score on this uh, task number 2 for this uh, instance recommendation do not uh, delete the your big table data because all the things are depending upon that otherwise you will get like uh, your job is failed okay if you get like this kind of error do not worry about that it take few minutes to update a score okay so if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching guys have a good day